Hey, you guys, what's up? Back in the long dark, we're in the cave where we left off last episode inside Hushed River Valley. Um, I, like I said, I think we pretty much did a pretty good job in here. Uh, let's see. Now I got to figure out how the heck to get down because we came across that giant tree over there. I think I think it did a pretty good job clearing this place, like getting around and going through the ice caves and stuff. Not too shabby. Hopefully I can get down over here and don't have to go all the way back around. Okay, I might have to go... Uh-oh. I might have to go back the other way. So I think we're getting close to winding this particular series down, you guys. Got a lot of episodes, we did pretty good, had a lot of fun, and there's still some challenges to do, but I may come back and do those. Man, I don't know if there's another way down from here. Seriously, you, I think you have to go all the way back around. I think you have to go all the way back around, unless nothing there. Holy shnikes. I think we have to go all the way back around, which is... I say back around. I don't know where back around is. I need to be down there. Like, right down there. Maybe there's something over here. Uh, that doesn't look safe either. But I've had a lot of fun with this game. Um, I've, I've pretty much achieved everything that I wanted to achieve... With the exception of a moose now. So what we're going to do, if I can ever get down, is we're going to go right back out. And remember, we saw that area in Pleasant Valley. No, Mil Milton, Mountain Town. Right outside the entrance here. And <clears throat> it had two tree rubbings. It had a set of trailers that I could kind of hang out at. You could wait a little while, you know, we don't have to wait forever, but we can wait a little while and see if we can get a, a deer to spawn. Now, the other thing is, so decoys, decoys, what did I drop, gamey, oh, okay, so if you drop, to drop a decoy, you drop food, I was thinking maybe dropping a, I didn't think a decoy. I was thinking of more like a lure. <laughs> Something to lure the uh, the moose in. Right, let's see if we can figure out how the... Oh my god. Uh, this may be longer than I thought because... This way here, to get up into here, it's you got to backtrack. So to find that cave up there that I was in... You really have to go out of your way to do it and go across that log. Pretty interesting. It's a nice snowy morning. I have to go all the way around this mountain somehow. What if I have to go all the way back down and around, you know? Like, all the way back down. That would be cool. Not really. <laughs> now, Not that I'm over here now. See, I came from way down there. Maybe I can... Go up through here. Ooh, somebody's tired. But I, I, I really enjoyed this game. I think it's uh I think it's cool. The this doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Okay, so there's a little area up here. I can use this. Probably dead end. It's just that. Oh, shoot. Dude. Okay, I have to find a way to go all the way down. Hmm. Interesting. Hush River Valley. I did pretty good job before, but I'm in an area that I I came from way over there. Now we went this way. Can we go around this way? Cause this 
Oh, there's a... Oh, I see. Okay, so here's the cave thingy. There's the rope going down. We climbed up that rope. Do I have a torch on me? I do have a torch on me. Get some sticks just in case I need to make another torch. Should be good. All right, let's see where this one goes because I actually didn't go into this particular ice cave. Went in the ones down below. Oh, interesting. It's I don't need to use the torch right now. So this needs to go down. It needs to go like way down for us to get up down on that other level. I think. At least at least the the level. It's a dead end. Man, I don't know. This might be making it worse going through here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Wait, that that feels familiar. Maybe we did go through here because we did a little mountain rope before. I'm going to light the torch just in case. It, it seems fairly bright to me, but light it just in case I only have 37 percent left on it the thing is like when you come out of these these caves it's kind of hard to figure out where the heck you're at you know in regard to where you want to go there's a storm lantern some wood I don't remember seeing a storm lantern, so I, I don't think that this is one we've been in before. I keep thinking I need to go left. Or not. Oh my god, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh no. This isn't working out so good. I'm lost. I'm totally lost. Give me another rope out of here, man. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Hey, this... This is the... This is the cave... At the base of the other... Oh my god. There's a way out up here. This is a cave... This, that's the area I slept that night. At night, right? Oh my god. It took us all the way back down to the other side of the map. Oh. I think... Oh yeah, that's loud. That's loud. We're right underneath the thingy, right? Oh shoot. Okay. Let me cross here. So probably would have been better just to go down that rope after doing that. Yep, there's the signal fire. So we came from way up there. We just entered this that cave way the heck up there and we got all the way to here. So it's connected now. Where does this take us? Remember, I had to go up and around that way and go down in that canyon? Where's that canyon at? I can cross there. Here's that canyon. If I cross there, it's going to lead me... So I walked that way and went over there, and that's how I accessed that, that area up top. So I have to go down this rope over here. Oh, shoot. I have to go down that rope, walk up that thing, and try and find my way out. Wow. It's a lot of, like, uh, 
I don't know, dead end kind of areas, you know? A lot of dead end areas in here. I can't believe I was all the way over there. I literally could see the exit and I couldn't get to it. There's, there's probably a way, but I didn't find it. I'm pretty sure I can get to that rope over here. You re you really have to remember things, you know. It's kind of like uh, kind of like real life, right? So if you ever out, wow, that stuff is so loud. If you ever hiking, and you know you're just going and going and going, you got to remember like landmarks and, and things like that. So the other cave we came out of would be right around here somewhere too. We came out right over there, I think. Because we came out of the cave twice and ran up to this, uh, this rope. <sighs> yeah, you have to remember landmarks. You know, there's, there's no way around it. If you don't, yeah, there's a cave right back in there somewhere. Because we've come out of that thing twice. One time we climbed down and went under the waterfall. The other time we went all the way that way, so. <sighs> at least I know where I'm at. I mean, I know where I'm at. It, that's not saying much. Now I have to remember how I originally got in here. So you walk in, you look up, you see that that tree that's fallen up above you, right? And you think, oh, that'd be cool to go up there and cross that. Well, you have to literally come all the way in, all the way around, and go back. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Get me out of here. This valley is, this is by far the loudest region that we've come across. It's so loud in here. Man, I feel like I'm going super slow. Starting to get frozen. I just, I felt like my, what the heck was that? I dropped up pin pinnacle peaches that were destroyed moose meat is what's for dinner it sounds like the the water flowing underneath the ice is making no there's another waterfall there that's why either the wind is when i'm facing this yeah the wind is blowing because man it is slowing me down so so much Alright. Now remember we came across that mountain almost like for no reason. Okay. We came across around that mountain where we found those or original two snow shelters for no reason. Then we went up over there somewhere and found another little area. Really, the only thing left for me to do is to get, get ourselves our own... I mean, I got the moose satchel, but I mean to get a moose kill. To get a moose kill, that would be like the topping on the cake. He's, he's ignoring me. And I'm not sure if it's... If it's up this way. If that's the mountain I came around, or this one. Oh, it's confusing. Oh my god, the wind! Can you guys see how... When I turn a certain direction at just I feel like that was where we found that first snow shelter because of the kind of the drops here that means I went up and around that edge there man I could have swore it was this one all right let's try and walk around this then oh geez oh geez
I am officially lost again. Hmm. I guess I could go over here and see if we can get back up this way. If this is if this is the way. It didn't look like you could walk down here from that snow shelter. Maybe this is where we came down. It seems so long ago. Oh. No, it's not liking me going up here. See, there doesn't look like you could go that way. Maybe up that side and then cross it somehow. This doesn't look like I can climb it. Oh. Shoot. Oh, no. I can't climb that. Stair Steps Lake. <laughs> oh my god, the wind is so bad. It's slowing me down so much. I might not know how the heck to get out of here, you guys. I'm gonna have to try and go up that side, I guess. Please don't crack. You guys chill, and I won't have to kill you. No, 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 don't break the ice. This is freaking me out. <laughs> so you're definitely seeing all of, all of the valley now, that's for sure. I thought I had this thing down pat, but apparently I don't. I'm afraid I'm going to get all the way up here and it'd be a dead end. I can't tell if that's the like the snow shelter that I went around. When I began we, if it is, when I began this episode I would have been up there. Isn't that weird how I had to go all the way it just seems like I'm too far to the left here. I feel like it's off to my right. I'm looking for that original snow shelter. It would have been... It would have been right over there, I think. Can I get across this anywhere? Please be the snow shelter. Please be the snow shelter right here. The original snow shelter. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Literally, that cave is... It's up there. Oh my god. That is so hard to get around in here. Watch this. This is going to be crazy. So, where where we began today today's episode was right up there. And there's no way to get up there from here. Like this is the upper ridge where I walked around this mountain and that's how we originally got in. There's the tree crossing. There's the tree crossing, which means I was right up there. And there's literally no way to get down. What I thought I could do was get to this point here. See, we looked in and saw that's the entrance right there. This is where I was trying to get to, this area. I never actually went this way. I'm going to go peek up here and see where it comes out. If there's an ice cave here, it's going to piss me off because then I just made a wrong turn down the ice cave from over here. So I walked around this mountain and I ended up dropping right back off. Get me out of here. Get me out of the Hush River Valley. This place is hard. If you're in for a, uh, a maze, not amazing, but a maze of backtracking and guessing and all that stuff definitely come in here or to get your moose hide satchel that's always a benefit 
I have to take a nap, man. I'm beat. I'm beat. I'm gonna lose my 22 pounds of uh, of extra carry weight here in a minute because of how tired I'm. Let's see where it's at. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm already losing it. I'm already losing it. Okay. Get me out of here. Leave Hush River Valley. Oh my God, you guys. Woo, we did it. We did it. <laughs> I thought I was able, gonna be able just to walk down, you know? I really did. Cue epic music. So I wonder if those those areas that shine light through, you know, it would be crazy that, you know, they call them like crevasse. If you could actually fall through one of those, that would that would suck, though. Like that would probably kill you. But if you could fall through one of those things up there. Torch is dying. Torch is dying. Oh, we're almost there. Neener, 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 neener. Torch died. <clears throat> yeah. Mountain Town. All right. So, we made it out. And you, you see what I mean? You see how nice and quiet it is here? That Hush River Valley is no joke. Okay, so in order to find a moose, and then the wind picks up. In order to find a moose, I would want to be able to have a sight line on that and on that and be up in the air. But honestly, I really don't know like how long, if you can just wait for one to spawn. go up here so there's that broken bridge over there that's the water that we're hearing all right so there there's a rubbing there that's those trailers I said I could sleep in there's a rubbing there and there's a rubbing there which means this is a moose area I'm up on a on an edge here, right? So if the moose is down there, I could go I could go ham bone on him without him attacking me. This is really a prime location. All right, let's um Let's see. Let's put our gun away. Let's just chill. You guys, let's chill a little bit, right? Put this down. I don't think that the, like, I don't think that a fire would scare a moose off, so maybe I should get some wood. Oh, we got some really good wood here. Get the big chunks of the, uh, the big chunks better than those sticks. There's a lot of them here. It's almost like they want you to hang out here. If this works, it's going to be total luck. But I feel like I'm being strategic a little bit, you know? I really do. What I want to do is chill here for a bit. Alright, let's... um. I'm gonna need to make some more water. I know that's hard to believe after all that, that water chaos I had going. Definitely gonna have to make some more water. Oh, MREs are so good. All right, so we got a couple hours here till, till it goes night, but um, 
See, if I'm passing hours like this, I might be able to see something happen. I can see the wind blowing. Like if I'm, it says they, they literally spawn in. So I might be able to see it spawn. Before I go to sleep, I'm gonna look around. So we got that rubbing there. We got the one there. Oh, there's one there too. Look. That's three, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought I was doing good with two. There's literally three here. I feel like the game owes us, right? I feel like the game owes us a, uh, a moose spawn. <laughs> Bring on the moose spawn. We'll start our little like fire. Night is coming. Night's coming. I just slept through the night, son. Hundred percent chance. Man, it's it's nice to have such a good fire starting skill, and it's it's really dumb luck finding the books and stuff, right? That's that's what increases that. And I was able to find enough to get to expert. I would imagine starting fires gives you some points like everything else does. It's like whenever you do something, um, you can... I'm going to take a quick look around and see if we see any moose walking around. Okay, let's make some water. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. Yes, you did. What I should do... I should cook this. Get some of this going just in case I have a... Uh, a bad experience with the moose. Thing is, this is taking all that water I just cooked, so. Water. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Get some of those prepped and ready to go. Does it say where we're at on water? I must have had one I picked up prematurely. Yeah, I had one that I picked up prematurely. You have to double it. You melt it, then boil it, which is kind of whack. Okay, so how much water do we end up with? Oh, that's plenty. And then three, three teas. Okay, we're good. What if, like, the moose spawned in and left while I was doing all that? We have this area here. That area there. And a rub over here. Right there. Any more rubs you guys can see? I just feel like the more rubs in a general area it really feels like, hey, that's a that's an active spawn area. Like, it would be good to have the moose spawn right over there. It, it said, look, if you're going to fight a moose, if you can be, like, in a position where they can't get to you, at least right away, where you can put some shots on it, that's going to be beneficial. All right. Let's, uh... MRE, I think, gives us a... Eh, it gives us a little bit of water. Forgot to drink when I woke up. You know when you first wake up, first thing you do is go pee. Yep. Oh. 
Do you hear something? I thought I heard hooves. I thought I heard hooves, you guys. Oh, I could have swore I heard hooves. I think it was me. I think it was me because, like, the sound is carrying on a little bit after I stop. It just seems like such a good area. I really thought it was good with two, and seeing that third one... What if I can't see the moose from where I'm at? So if you take a torch from here and extinguish it, it's a 50% torch, so that's not bad. What doesn't make sense is it doesn't use any oil. Well, shoot. I don't know if I have like the patience to just sit here. Now, I don't remember how the heck we get out of here to go to Mountain Town because that was a long time ago. I think it's up past the gas station. And I guess, I guess ultimately I'd want to go back to Mountain Town, but I th thought they said the moose, moose would have a better chance of spawning in the more difficult areas. Can't do anything with that. It just said the moose have a chance to spawn, especially where the rubbings are. I'd like to see one. I'd like to see just how big it is in this game. I don't think... No, we didn't see one in, in the story mode either, so... I don't know what they look like. I mean, other than looking like a moose. I mean, I don't know how big they are. Here's the other rubbing right there. Could be a waterfall. And I don't, like, once they come in, that's why I laid the bed down, made the fire. I was going to try and maybe do, like, stay here a night or two. Maybe I should go back up there and just try it before we leave here. I almost, I almost just left, so maybe we'll go back up here if we can get up this way. Do the wait, 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 wait thing, you know, until it's time to go to sleep, go to sleep. This just seems like a pretty good area. I'm gonna go get some more wood. I mean, this right here alone is killing time, doing this. And I guess you can spook, you could spook the moose too, like you do the deer. What's over here? There's a wolf. Okay, it's the other side of the lake. I don't see any more rubbings over here, so our little area is pretty good here. My fire, no, I think my fire went out. I think my fire went out. Dang it. Should have stoked I need to it. Drop something. Oh, it's still going. I just didn't see the smoke. Add fuel. We had five hours left. Holy cow. Go back up to there. I wonder if when you take a torch out of the fire, if it uh, if it shortens the time that it's running. 
this side. Let's wait. Should we wait like hour by hour, maybe? This seems like such a good position. I literally have eyes on three different tree rubbings. Making that noise might be good not to have the fire so I can actually hear a little bit better. You know, in all my travels to every region, you think that I would have just by chance run across a moose, right? I mean, we've had wolves, timber wolves, bears, everything. They don't only come out at night, right? I mean, it would... I mean, I could stay up all night. Sleep during the day, but... That was only that one weird white deer. Epic music is rolling. Where's the moose? I've never tried this before, like sitting in an area like this and just... Seven hours left. We can add some more fuel. Get rid of some of this weight. I'm going to... I'm going to look in the long dark under moose and we're going to read what it says. See if we can get an idea. Okay, overview. Largest and toughest of the prey animals. Let me take a quick peek around again. Um, very dangerous. If a player provokes them, their walk and most movements resemble that of a deer, but a moose will charge if the player gets too close. Okay. Similar to bear. Bears. Um, before charging and trampling the player, the moose will ad adapt a stiff, threatening posture and Garden. snort. Attempting to, to intimidate the player. Oh, I read this. Oh, okay. Well, if there's a moose out there, I can't see him right now. Um, behavior. Moose have three paces, walking, fleeing, and charging. Moose do not hunt the player, but will attack if approached. Possible locations for moose are marked by scratches on trees. Moose are hardly ever far from their marked areas, though they may despawn for extended periods. Moose do not respond to the presence of other animals, rabbits, deer, or wolves. They'll flee from the moose. The bear and moose will actually walk right past one another. Uh, talks about hostility, trampling... Broken ribs, fleeing, charging moose are not deterred by flares, torches, rifle shots, or arrows. Shots from the distress pistol are effective deterrents, though. Moose are afraid of fire and will turn and run away. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I'll put this out then. 
Rocks thrown by the player out of the moose's sight will generally cause it to flee. Unprovoked moose will flee from gunshots and close arrow impacts. All right, hunting. Unlike other animals, moose don't bleed out. Uh, one technique is to take one careful shot from a distance. All right, lighting a campfire before engaging a moose should provide adequate shield from the struggle. Provoking a moose to charge at a campfire location can provide good close range opportunities without actual risk of trampling. Oh, so fire can act as a deterrent. Another way is to find a sniping spot like the outcropping near Pensive Pond. The moose usually runs away a short distance after the first hit carcass. All right, locations. Moose can spawn in any region. Sightings are rare, however. Moose will often appear, then disappear on their own. It can be several days before they return to any sighted location again. A player can locate moose spawn locations by scratch marks at the bases of trees. Typically, several marks will form a rough ring around the possible spawn area, like we are. Now, we are in Pleasant Valley. No. We're in um, Mountain Town. Mountain Town. Milton Basin rubs presence between Spruce Falls Bridge and St. Christopher's Church in the area near the Pond with Rabbits. That's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. It's almost sun up. It's almost sun up. We gotta get to sun up though, so where we can see. Uh, we'll go with three hours. Yeah, this is a tough one. Because like I said, I haven't seen any moose spawn in all my travels. And then having this campfire here might not be good. Now it said the church is pretty far down there. It said between the church and there, but I'm by the rubbing, so I would imagine this is the area. It said that pond over there. And it said it'll form a ring, so if we're counting that as one, that is two and that is three. I'm kind of in the middle of that ring that this would form. All right, I think what I'll do, you guys, is this. I'm gonna stay here. See how much food we've got. We've got a, we've got a lot of food. I'm gonna stay here and keep doing this, okay? And obviously, if a moose pops up, I'll start recording the next episode. If it doesn't, did it say what day it is? Like how many days I've I've been doing this? Have I passed 122 yet? And if it doesn't, I'll just come back in and we'll get the heck out of here. It talks about Pensive Pond a lot. About the op outcropping there, but I've never seen a moose there. This just this seems like a good area, but what would really suck is if I couldn't see it from here, but I should be able to see it. All right, I'm going to keep talking in circles if I don't just end this. Like I said, I'm going to stay here, you guys, and if a moose comes in, that's what we'll do next episode. If not, you'll see me crying after staying here for however long all right that's gonna do it for this one you guys hit that like buto like i said we're we're getting pretty close to coming to the end of this series so catch it while you can see you guys next time